This is Ship's Corner Pressure Reducing Station for HRSD. What we're doing here today is putting in temporary diesel pumps that will bypass this station. The normal operation of the station is there are several municipal pump stations that pump into a common force main. That force main comes up to this Ship's Corner pump station and then it boosts the pressure down to the wastewater treatment plant. It conveys the flow. It's referred to as a pressure reducing station because what it does is it reduces the pressure on the outlet side of the feeder stations. Because this pump station has electric motor driven pumps with VFDs that work off of a, a PID function where the pumps will vary their speed to maintain an in incoming pressure and then it will vary their speeds to react to incoming or changes in incoming flow rates. When you put in a temporary diesel solution, while the station's being repaired, um, overhauled, replaced, in the past, diesel-driven pump op um, options were either on-off and didn't offer the variable speed option. With the advent of electronic-controlled engines and the Godwin Prime Card diesel and engine controller, we can use the pressure transducer on, on the incoming side of the pumps, tie that into the Prime Guard, and emulate what the existing station is already doing. So the prime guard will start and stop off of that incoming pressure and then vary the engine speed to maintain that incoming pressure level just like the permanent station has done. And then the sewage authority can also tie into the prime guard to see engine operation parameters and tie it into their SCADA system. They can see power being drawn, engine speed, how many times it's going on and off, if there's a failure alarm, anything that they already do with their existing SCADA system on the existing station.